Just what are my five best long jump exercises? Well, watch this video to find out. My five are going to cover technique, conditioning, and speed development. Everything you need to be a great long jumper. Number one is mat drills. Now, these position the athlete for the takeoff. They work the penultimate step, the step into the takeoff, and the free leg drive. So incorporating mat drills into your training from day one will pay dividends. If you can't take off, then you're never going to be the greatest long jumper you can be. Check out my other videos on my channel to see how to specifically put these into practice. Exercise number two, run-up development work. Here we work on the stages of the run-up, acceleration, alignment and attack. You have to work your run-up over and over again to get rhythm and accuracy. So in at number two are run-ups. Number three, bar drills and in particular sprints and acceleration work holding a bar. If you can't sprint effectively utilizing your hip musculature then you're not going to be able to get a great run up or indeed run fast enough in order to be able to jump the distances that you want to. Working with a bar really focuses on the hip region as I said and that will give you great power into your sprinting and jumping. So number three bar drills. Number four speed bounds. A great exercise for developing reactivity, hip power, speed, of course. Now, make sure that you swing the hip away from you and power down onto each contact. Do them over 30 to 40 meters and you can time them as well in order to see how you're progressing. Also count the number of speed bounds that you do over the distance and then you'll get a real good measure as to your progression. And number five, drop jumps. These are key for developing the reactiveness and the leg stiffness that you need in order to jump far. So incorporate drop jumps from various heights to develop the triple extension requirements of the long jump. Lower heights will develop ankle stiffness more than higher heights, which will place a greater emphasis on the quads and hips. Speaking of the hips, always make sure you open the hips when you do drop jumps and other plyometric exercises. If you only had time to do those five exercises for the long jump, you won't go far wrong. They are staples in my training. So incorporating them two to three times a week spread across the training elements, sessions, will give you basically all you need to jump far. Now, of course, there is a little bit more involved, for example, mid-air technique, but I'm concerning myself here in this video with conditioning exercises and drills that you can easily do. I've picked exercises that I believe are key to developing you as a long jumper. You won't go far wrong if you emphasize those five in your training throughout the whole training year. And if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed that I've not mentioned weight training. Well, for me, if I had to choose my five exercises, which I just have done, then weight training would not be in there. In terms of a return on it, you're not going to get the same as you are from those five exercises that I've just given you. Weight training in many ways is peripheral. Check out some of the other videos on the channel and you'll see why I don't value weight training as much as some other coaches. Do you agree or disagree with my top five long jump exercises? Let me know in the comments section below. As usual, thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll know when I upload new content. And do please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. And if you'd like to become a channel member and learn more about how to be a better athlete or a coach then do go on to the home page of the channel on your desktop and click on the join button to see what offers are available many guys have signed up to become coach athlete members and there you'll get a monthly exclusive video which really delves deeper into the subject matter and topics that will improve your performance interested in the extremely portable and accurate free lap timing system then do drop me a message. The system is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and can time end times and split times.